I'm in the big leagues, Tony don't miss me Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all What up, guys? Welcome to my channel I'm back with another video, man And today, today, today Listen, I got a jam-packed video for you guys today I honestly have so much information to share with you guys, I don't even know where to start, all right? So <laughs> I got a good problem to have. But before we get into today's video, man, I gotta give a quick shout out to one of my longtime subscribers, longtime supporters, JG. I appreciate you for providing this information to share with the community, all right? So listen, if you're watching this video, you in for a treat, man. I'm gonna be sharing everything with you guys all the way down to the hourly rates when it comes to the starting rates when it comes to the length of service got that breakdown for you we're going to be talking about the vacation pay rates guys like i said i got a lot of information to cover today so i need you guys to strap in and just pay attention keep it locked i'm also going to be showing you guys an actual pay slip from my guy who currently works for hub group that came from food service martin brow to be specific so look i don't even want to talk about it no more let's go ahead and start somewhere who is hub group let's dive into it all right so hub group is a transportation management company in north america providing intermodal truck brokerage and logistics services a publicly traded company with over 3.5 billion in revenue the company also owns mode transportation formerly Excel Transportation Services, a third-party logistics company, Unison, and Hub Group Trucking, which provides intermodal freight support and dredge services. Hub Group was founded in 1971 by Philip Yeager and is currently run by his son, David. The company went public in 1996 and is headquartered in Oak Brook, Illinois, all right? Now look, these guys have opportunities for not only company drivers, but also owner operators. So if you're an owner operator out there, and you're looking for a company to partner with, you may want to check out Hub Group. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the qualifications. You need a minimum of one year verifiable tractor trailer experience within the last three years and two years verifiable tractor trailer experience within the last five. General requirements, and I'm not gonna go through all these, but I'm gonna go over a few of them. Obviously, you must have a class A CDL, you must be a minimum of 21 years of age. It says no more than six DOT employers in the last year. Excludes temp jobs, gig jobs, and third party or payroll companies versus main company. Wow. Listen, I don't see many companies have this in their general requirements. So we just talked about, if you guys check that live stream out that I did with Gemini Transport, one of the recruiters on there was talking about how they really look at job hopping and they really pay attention to how many jobs people have had within a certain time frame. So this is very interesting. Like I said, I don't see too many companies actually put this in the job requirements. So like I tell you guys, job hopping, a lot of companies pay close attention to it. I know you guys have reasons to leave certain jobs. Some of you guys get lucky and find a good job even though you've been probably hopping around a bit but best practices is you probably want to have some type of stability when it comes to the jobs i'm just saying all right let's go ahead and move on to the next one moving violations no violation for driving a cmv without a class or i'm sorry without a valid cdl in the last five years no speeding violations of 25 mile power or above in the last three years no more than two moon violations in the last three years, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all right? You guys check out those moon violations. All right, when it comes to the locations and where these guys have terminals, I'm telling you, they got terminals, some of everywhere, all right? If we scroll down here, they got them in Georgia. They got them in PA. They got them in Alabama, California, a bunch in California, Illinois, Virginia, North Carolina, Ohio, and the list goes on and on and on. So you guys can check those out. Like I said, these guys are pretty spread out across the country, all right? A lot of opportunities out there. We're getting real close to really diving into 
the meat and potatoes of this video, man. All right, so if you go to drive4hubgrouptrucking.com, you're gonna come to this home screen. If you scroll down towards the middle, a little bit further down, you're gonna come to some of the driver positions. And that's what I wanna look at today. If you check out this one right here, this one is actually in Stockton, California. You look at the pay here, it says earn $1,800 weekly, home daily. It says CDL Class A, dedicated drivers, dedicated account. So this is a dedicated account. And it also has here drive-in dedicated. All right, if we just keep scrolling over, you can see a lot of other job opportunities. This one says home daily, $1,600 a week in Plainville, I'm sorry, yeah, Plainfield, Connecticut. All right, let's go ahead and keep scrolling over. You got this one right here, earn $1,400 per week, daily or weekly. This is intermodal, local, all right? Check out this one right here though. This is in Kearney, New Jersey, all right? Earn up to $2,300 weekly, intermodal. By the way, that's what my guy does for them right now. He does intermodal, all right? Let's go ahead and click on this one real quick. I wanna check this one out. If you go here, tap on job details, scroll down here you have a lot more information here it says earn up to twenty three hundred dollars weekly or one hundred and twenty thousand annually all right dedicated accounts home daily flexible shifts new equipment average of fleet is two years my guy told me at his location they have all new equipment and all the trusts are automatics the guys are running freight liners and internationals all right guys so let's go ahead and get into it let's dive a little bit deeper on some of the pay all right let's go ahead and get it all right so what i'm showing you guys now is the company driver pay schedule for this particular location out in california so these are some of the rates based on the miles and this pretty much just breaks it down so 1 to 15 miles 14 dollars for if you load it empty bobtailing etc and you guys could just go through this list all right and it just breaks it all down depending on the miles that you travel and you see the pay alongside of it if you go all the way down to the bottom right there you got the 141 to 150 miles and it's got the 48 dollars and then up top though it says if the leg of a trip is 150 miles or less then flat rate supply if any leg of the trip exceeds 150 miles then mileage rate supply and the rates are as follows so again you guys can check that out a lot of good information right there let's go ahead and go to the next one let's look at some of the hourly rates real quick so the starting rate so the starting rate is $20.25 an hour for day drivers Monday through Friday if you're a night driver, starting rate Monday through Friday, you're looking at $23.75. And if you're running on the weekend, it says $35 an hour. All right, that's the starting rate if you look across the line. Looks like it caps out at five years. So very valuable information here, man. Very valuable information. Check that out. All right, so let's check out this vacation pay rate. Vacation pay. After one full year of service, you get five days vacation, all right? After two full years, you get 10 days. After five full years, you get 15 days. The pay rate for the vacation is $200 per day, all right? So for example, if you take five days off for vacation, you're looking at $1,000. If you take 10 days, you're looking at $2,000. $200 per day for vacation days, all right? If we look down below at the holiday pay, same rate applies, $200 per day for the holidays. And these are some of the holidays that these guys get paid for. Again, a lot of valuable information here. So now let's go ahead and check out this pay slip that my guy provided for me. This was his last pay slip for 2022. And you can see here, man, if you look at the gross earnings, current, this was a $2,000 paycheck right here, gross. He netted $1,326. If we go down and kind of look a little further at some of the things that he got paid for, you got the night hours there was $1282.98 and other money was $5148. All right. Not sure what other money is, but it was $5148. Now he did tell me if you look at his year to date, he grossed $74,963.77. Now, he actually started in June, so this is not a full year salary right here. So if he was to go at this same pace, obviously he would have made well over six figures, all right? This is only for about seven months worth of work right here. This is what he earned. And he did tell me that he got a $10,000 sign-on bonus, 
7,000 of that was added in 2022. So there is $7,000 added into this year to date amount right here. You can see actually at the bottom at the description, it's got sign on bonus, $7,000. He got $7,000 in 2022. He said he actually get the other 3,000 this year in 2023. So I do want to bring that to you guys' attention as well. So if you should track the sign on bonus, the $7,000 from this year to date number, you'll get $67,000, I believe, somewhere around there. Even still, with $67,000 for seven months worth of work, he still would have did pretty good for the year. You guys let me know, all right? Listen, that's all I got for you guys today. Y'all let me know what you think about this video. I'll be honest, man, Hub Group sounds like a pretty good company to me. Sounds like a pretty good gig. He also told me like any other job out there, which I agree with 100%, no job is perfect. You're gonna have people that's gonna complain. It doesn't matter what type of job they have. That's just the reality of it. But look, at the end of the day, this job to me sounds like a pretty good opportunity. Y'all let me know what you think. Look. I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I'll check with you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good weekend. I'm out.